Okay, welcome to my video, virtual private servers versus dedicated servers. I just wanted to shoot this quick video because there's a number of people that have been asking about the difference between the two. So let's slip over to virtual private server. It's known um, now more commonly known as uh, cloud hosting or cloud computing. And when you think of virtual private server, think of it in terms of shared hosting. And I like what uh, was taught to me. I'll pass it on to you. Think of a pie. And of that pie, one piece of that pie, it's one pie, but there's several pieces. Okay, and so one, one slice is, is a VPS. Okay, now the benefits of a virtual private server are you have scalable resources. Uh, if you're growing your organization or just this, this uh, project that you're doing, uh, you can pay for what you use, which is convenient. Obviously, you don't want to pay for more than what you use, especially as you're growing um, whatever endeavor you have that involves using a virtual private server. Uh, so it's scalable. Um, number two, it's cost effective. Again, like I alluded to, fairly straightforward because you're only paying for what you use. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. It's fairly simplistic. I'll point you in the direction of much more details, much more detailed explanation uh, in just a minute. But just want to get the, the general 65,000 foot uh, view, if you will. Number two, we're looking at dedicated servers. Now the dedicated server, no slices, no, no, no slices. You now control the whole pie. So all the resources, you control 100% of that. Okay, and um, it's less scalable, but it's more powerful. So hopefully that hopefully that makes sense. And so again, just think of it as a whole pie, and that's what a dedicated server is. You control 100%. So you're getting more resource allocation. There's more hardware involved. Um, there's uh, it's more expensive than a virtual private server on a monthly basis, but there's higher speed and performance. Um, uh, you have full control, you can reboot, reboot the server, you can host um, yourself, your own sites, or sell, you know, sell hosting to, uh, to, your, to your customers. So um, that's a very you know, um, simplistic way to look at it. Like I said, if you want to get some more information from a very reputable sor source and service, please check out aux URL dot co forward slash servers and uh, you can go there to find much more um, information um, uh, there is a company that I recommend uh, that you check out there as well they have been uh, outstanding in my opinion um, I have tried more than one so this is the first and the only one I've tried but I've got several solutions that I've been able to use uh, from this um, company the customer service has been as I said sensational uh, any questions you have, they're getting back to you super quick. Uh, very little downtime, if at all. And uh, you've got all kinds of stuff, all kinds of different uh, combinations. And uh, they're very uh, welcoming in terms of questions to be able to answer everything you got. Um, anything you can send their way, they'll get back to you on it. And um, I mean, you got stuff that's that's super cheap each month, and you can just grow from there. So I uh, appreciate you watching the video. Hopefully it's it's helped you kind of sort some, some things out. It's been very simplistic, but like I said, check out auxurl.co forward slash servers for much more detail and um, and an actual um, place that you can, can get either or uh, in terms of finding a hosting solution. So thanks for watching.